Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, Monday through Thursday. This is a general reading, and that means I'm going to be using, of course, my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. Then I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck, too. Now, um, I'm also, for the introduction, which we are in the introduction, and I do put a little time marker when the actual readings start, so that anyone that's cross-watching, cross and, you know, basically it's very encouraged for you to um, check what your moon, your Venus, ascending, rising, and you can kind of take a look at all of them. Um, by going to the marker, you skip then the introduction. Anyway, I will be in the introduction using my Weight Rider, a traditional tarot. I will pull three for that. That's more for, a, for an overview of what's happening possibly in our world, okay? Now, remember to, um, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job just deliver the message. Now, um, anything that is reversed, any cards that are reversed, basically have a little stronger energy. So let's go on. We are going to go ahead and pull three cards just to see what's happening in the world, what the energies are going to be like. Oops, and a card is flying. When cards fly, and I have to disappear for a moment, it usually means, hey, pay attention to me. This, it is face down. It is face down, so I don't know what this is. And I told you that reverse cards have stronger energies. Also, to remember, um, swords is our air energy, and that's our Gemini. It is our Libra and Aquarius. Cups is our water energy. It is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. Uh, uh, wands and rods is our fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And then we have Pentacles, which is our Earth energy. And that would be our Virgo, Capricorn, and our Taurus energy. So let's see what we have. Please take time now. Please take time now to like, share, subscribe. The buttons should be over there. It helps. Click on the bell for notifications. I, you know, I've had some people, I've had some viewers telling me that they've been having trouble with their notifications. They, you know, they, they, you know, kind of said that they think that my algorithms might be a little bit messed up. So please, you know, if you are subscribed, resubscribe. <laughs> Do all the buttons again, please, because it does help. Thank you so much. And thank you to my viewers who have, uh, who have made comment to that. And I do love to listen to your comments or read your comments. So please do feel free to comment. Okay, first card here. Ah, this is reverse, a little bit stronger energy. This is a five. Five has some change energy to it, um, positive, negative. It can be a little bit on that difficult side, and we know what difficulties are, are like. We've had many ups and downs in the last couple of years, but that's what life is all about. Now, the Hierophant is very, is very much a traditionalist, but there's a couple of things going on with this Hierophant, too. So one is tradition. One is you know, kind of, um, there is also a legalistic type of energy around the Hierophant. But the other thing that the Hierophant has, and I'm kind of gathering, kind of picking, I'm picking this energy up more so, is being around people with your views, okay? People that have, that are very supportive of you. So if you have, you know, if you've been, you know, going a little bit off the, off of the um, traditional view or tr off of the traditional um um, pathway, it's very important for you to have the, you know, have the spiritual even, the spiritual uh, support to help to get you on, you know, help to get you through this. So there's going to be a couple of things going on with this week with the Hierophant. One is, you know, and again to the Hierophant, I always get, because I am a fire sign, I always kind of, you know, I'm always like a little bit resistant to those traditions unless it makes sense to me, unless it's kind to others. So just kind of the Hierophant has a very traditional, very legalistic energy, but at the same time, there's also that part that says the people that need, you know, the people 
um, need to be around people that help to support them to get them through some of this energy too. So let's see what else we have here. Next card. Ah, okay. This is also reversed. So now we have two and these are from the major arcana. So this is more of that bigger overview. The minor arcanas kind of give us that day-to-day -day feel, but this is a bigger, this is something bigger than us. Now, the emperor, um, there's a four, so some stability, some leadership. There's also some um, organization with the emperor. The emperor kind of gets us back on our path. The emperor kind of guides us where we need to do. So while we have this being more of the religious, this has more of that oversight of even that religious, okay? So, you know, this, these two are very powerful, very strong leaders in our, in our universal. Now, the, you know, again, there, it kind of has a, there is kind of a little bit of a, I, I don't necessarily want to say conflict, but I kind of feel like a little bit rubbing each other wrong. So we, we're going to have to just watch to see what that's all about. Okay, next card. And now we have the hermit. And again, these are reversed. Now, the hermit, so we have all major arcana. So we have some majorly higher power, you know, and again, when I talk about higher power, I talk higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, the source, whoever that is to you, that's very personal to you. But this is all, this has a very strong universal type of energy going on. And one thing, this is a nine. So nines have kind of this completion. It's kind of this ending type of thing. It's kind of this let's wrap things up and let's, you know, let's move on with our life. But the hermit is one that needs to take time away, needs to think about what's going on, needs to kind of see that bigger picture. Now, one of the things that really popped to me was that we had a five plus a four and that equals nine. And if you know, you know, what I've been talking about the last, I think, the last month or so, and I am so grateful to the, to the subscribers that let me know, because one thing about me is once I give the reading and once it's delivered, it's something that I really don't um, recall, it, unless, unless, you know, higher power wants me to. But it's kind of like it's delivered, now let's move on. And that's kind of where the hermit is, too. It's kind of like, you know, okay. It's delivered, let's move on. Or I should say that's how number nine is. That's what that number is. But what really jumped at me was five plus four equals nine. So the numbers have been speaking quite a bit. A lot of times, you know, well, that's how angelic realms, they like to speak to us through numbers. And there's some wonderful sites, and I talk about this as, you know, you go to your search browser, whoever that is, whatever that is, and I would suggest you put five, four, and nine in and then put angel numbers behind it. And you'll talk when I talk about um, the numbers in the shorter readings, then, you know, please, you know, go or in any of the readings, you know, if they're jumping out. Well, these are very, very strong energies here. So we have this traditionalist. We have this emperor that is, you know, kind of sees beyond the tradition, kind of sees the the, the changes between, you know, because the traditional list also has an emotional component to it. It also is kind of what we buy into as a people. The emperor sees things a little bit at a higher energy, at a higher, at a higher level. And the hermit is where we're, we need to step back and we need to kind of reconcile what we're seeing, what we're hearing, what we're believing. You know, we need to connect with higher power and just see, you know, just see, um, you know, where everything is fitting to. So we have this higher, you know, this major arcana cards, very high energy. I will also, I tell you to keep your energy and your vibrations up because we you know, everyone that watches, you're, you're here for a reason. We've connected for a reason, okay? And it is to keep us, you know, it keep us, you know, our vibrations higher because we are countering with very low vibration people. And I've had some conversations with um, viewers about that too, that, you know, many times the lower vibration people come in, they're trying to pull you down. We need to, you know, and it's a struggle. It's a struggle, but... You know, this is also saying, um, you know, we definitely, you know, need to keep our vibrations up. If we're around people that um, that are very low vibration, then step away from them. Step away, move away from them, okay? Okay, now, I will put the time marker 
into the, you know, into my little um, introduction, my, my description, okay? So that all the cross watchers, and that means that people that watch for their moon, their sun, um, their Venus, you know, ascending, rising, all of those, you know, well, um, that you, you can just watch the intro one time and then go to the time marker to watch for your other side, for your other energies. Okay. Okay. So very high universal energy this week. Remember Mercury did go into cancer, um, on the 11th and Mercury is about, um, communication. Cancer is very, you know, is very, you know, maternal in many ways, but very deep, very, let's get down, let's get down and find out, you know, kind of like, let's find out what's really going on. So we should have, expect to have some very deep discussions. But again, we have, this is very high level type of energy over us, the world at this time. Okay, so now let's start our readings. Hello, my Libras. How are you? Okay, wow. I, my Libras, you are determined. And I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Anyway, the determination, I can just feel that there's some Libras out there that are just very, um, mm -mm -mm. and you've been, you've been kind of on this path for a while. You keep thinking about um, some major changes and you go back and forth, but I like that about you because you do weigh the decisions. You do weigh things, you know, um, and, you know, you, you do balance it all out just like you are my Libras. Anyway, let's see what we have. Nothing is reversed. First card is perspective has been coming up a whole lot in all, well, I wouldn't say all, but in many of the readings. Archangel Shemuel, and I make sure that I shuffle the cards. I make sure, you know, it's not that this is on the top, but this is Archangel Shemuel. We have a 12 here, so we have the one, new beginnings, 10 plus 2, 10's transition, 2 has some decision making. 2's can also come together with partnerships, too. So there's things to look at. There is things to look at for you, my Libras. Now, you know, there is the saying that, you know, when the pain of letting go hurts more than the pain of holding on, okay? So something with that. Now, you can take that and work it a little bit when the pain of holding on hurts more than the pain of letting go. So it's kind of like, where is the pain? What is, what's, what's the, what is the cause of the pain? And I don't mean that you have to be in pain. It's just more, what's the cause of the problem, okay? And what is the reaction? Is it hurting? Is it, is it creating disruption to hold on to it? Or is the disruption in letting go of it? Okay, so this is where perspective comes in, looking at things a little bit differently. It could be that you're very miserable in your job and you've not necessarily looked for another job yet. So, you know, you know it's always easier to get a job when you have a job. So that's one thing. But the other thing is, you know, you, you know, it's kind of like you're getting to that point that maybe you need to be looking for that job. I'm just using that as an example. It's look at things a little differently. Anyway, Archangel Shamuel, there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Now, be different from who? Be different from what? The people around you? Or is it time for you to do something different all, than you would normally do? A lot of times you accept things that happen. Maybe you need to push back a little bit more. Maybe, my Libras, you push back more, and now it's time for you to just kind of look at things. Again, it's like look at things a little differently. Next card, justice. So here we have an eight. Eight has some, you know, um, unlimited possibilities, unlimited opportunities. Justice, you know, this has a lot of the scales, the balancing, the weighing things out. There, is, there was a lot of, you know, universal major arcana energy in the introduction, and it feels like you're tapping into that. So my Libras, even if you passed up the introduction, I would, I would have you go and look at the reading that I did overview, okay? Because you're, it's kind of like you're tapping into that. Now, the first thing that came to me, too, was the 12 and 8. 12 plus 8 equals 20. I, it was just like I needed to add them together. 20, you know, 2 has 20, you know, the 2, 0, 2, again, decisions, but also could be some partnering, too. Now, 
So something about that, I definitely would be looking up these numbers as I talked about in the introduction. So Archangel Raguel. Now, this is that there is a there is a determination with this justice. There is kind of this will talk about fighting for what's right, fighting for what needs to be done, fighting for a cause in many ways. The thing is be smart about things. Be smart about what it is you want, okay? And it's also I kind of feel like don't, you know, I'm not saying that you don't take a risk, a chance, but don't put yourself to a point that it all falls back on you. Whoever needed to hear that one, that's really, you know, because, okay. Anyway, fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor, don't give up. I am not a lawyer. I do not give legal advice. This has more of that karmic, supernatural type of energy. Here we go. The three of Ariel. Now, so we have that one, two. So here's a three also. Remember, the one plus two could be a three. So you could have a three, eight, three energy here. You could have a one, two, eight, three energy also. Now, you know, so there's something going on with that. Now, air, three, okay, three has a lot of creativity to it. It has a lot of possibilities. The power of three, saying something three times, doing something with two other people, there is a lot of strength in a three. There's also the trinity that has that, that again, that power. Ariel is our... Um, Earth energy, it's our it's our pentacles energy, it is our Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, something solid, money, job. So whatever this is, I do feel that this does have kind of going back to what I was saying, maybe this has a has a job energy to this because that is what the air what Ariel is. But remember, there's creativity here. There is also maybe the thought that you know, maybe you're like, well, I'm quitting this job. Um, well, why don't you, before you quit the job, why don't you talk to someone first? Why don't you get a different perspective first? Okay? So there is thinking things, thinking things again, not necessarily uh, thinking a little bit outside. Okay? Anyway, the three of Ariel also tells you, though, to do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. So there is cooperation happening here. There is cooperation. Okay, let's go on. Let's see. One card from these cards. Yeah, I think that's good. This one is reversed. The three of earth. So now you have a three again. So this is the same as this. So again, the one, two. I don't know. Is this a three? Write these down, take a look. Like I said, put them in your browser, angel numbers. But now we have a three again of earth. So this has a lot to do with your creativity, a lot to do with your job, a lot to do with how you make your money. So there could also be, with all this going on, there could also be another opportunity for you that you're not even aware of. But again, too, what I would do is, you know, before I just jumped into the fire out of the frying pan, I would make sure that I talked, but then sometimes talking is also jumping into the fire. Okay, your decision with that. But this is the power of creativity. Recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. See, the thing is, if this is a job related thing, they do not want to lose you. They do not want to lose you. So, you know, you have more power than you might even think you have. If this is a job, I'm using that as, a, an, as an example, but you know, this could be in any of those relationships. They do not want to lose you, so they will try to, um, I don't know, accommodate? Maybe not as much as you think they should accommodate. But again, they don't want to lose you. Here we go. Next, let's see what crystal or energy for my Libras we have. This is reversed. Emerald. Oh, beautiful. And that's green. Okay, emerald, unconditional love. Beauty, recovery, healing from past lives. And, you know, that's one thing my Libras, um, a lot of Libras do have, you know, if there is reincarnation, there's a lot of anecdotal information that suggests that there is. I'm not testing the theory, though, at least not at this time. But if we go down there, there is this karmic resolution. Libras, you do have, you know, if, if this is a true if this is true, which I actually feel that there is, you know, soul contracts and there is, you know, we come back to make differences to right our karma, do, you know, maybe it's also about justice to kind of, you know, make things, 
you know, we're, we come down with a reason. And we're, you know, generally, one of the theories is we're generally given that purpose and we actually sign up for that purpose. However, once we get down here, we forget that purpose. Sometimes it might make things a little easier to remember some of it. And a lot of you, though, actually, my Libras, I think you remember more than what you talk about. Anyway, anyway, I don't know who needed that one. Wow. Anyway, my Libras, remember the button, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It helps. Also, make sure that it is still subscribed because what I was telling you about in the beginning, the introduction, people were saying, hey, I was subscribed. It's not, I'm not subscribed anymore. So let's, let's, let's try to, you know, I like the idea, okay, I'll play your game, but by my rules or, you know, anyway, my Libras. And I think you can appreciate that one. Anyway, my Libras, the most important thing to know, know you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.